Thank you. What's up, Lore Masters? While looking through the different episodes in The Next Generation, as well as talking to some people, someone suggested that there was an episode that actually addressed domestic abuse. Interestingly, one of the episodes that was suggested is one that is really, really disliked by the fandom. Almost universally so. That episode is specifically The Next Generation's Man of the People. Captain, sensors have located the transport ship. Two Recog battle cruisers are flanking it. Red alert, shields up. Phases online, put our torpedoes armed and ready. Is the transport still under attack? The cruiser's weapons are powered up. Sir, the Recog ships are turning and heading out of sensor range. They don't want to take on the Enterprise. For those who don't remember it, the Enterprise receives a distress signal from a transport and responds. Said transport has a diplomat and his mother who are on their way to negotiate a war between two sides that has killed thousands upon thousands of people. The Enterprise intercepts and is able to save them, even providing passage for the duo to make it to their destination. During this time, the diplomat's 96-year-old mother dies. Deanna Troy, someone who has taken a liking to the diplomat, offers to help the man grieve and he asks her to be a part of a funeral ritual. While I know there's a lot more to it, for the purposes of this episode, this is where we're going to stop and have the discussion. And again, it is a discussion. If you think this is way off, Give me your thoughts on it. Ultimately, all of the negative aspects from the man's psyche are being transferred onto or into Deanna. This would cause her quite a bit of pain, physically and emotionally. She would stop acting like herself, be become someone else. This includes having sex with random people, attacking others randomly, being jealous over losing the man who is causing her her pain, and hurting those that she loved. What is this? Please. If you've been with the channel for a while, you know that I've discussed my past. I was a part of a 10 year abusive relationship. It was more mentally than physically, though she did attempt to intimidate me at times. The more I look at this from a domestic abuse situation, the more it does seem to fit, though loosely. I do think those who are abusive to others do it in an attempt to transfer that hate or hurt to someone else. Now, it doesn't work precisely like we see in the episode. They don't feel great or centered by hurting the others. Well, not usually, but they do act like everything's great and nothing is wrong in front of others, at least their friends. They appear to be a wonderful person in front of everyone else. Well, except for the one they are hurting. As we can see, the way it feeds into Deanna is destructive. It impacts her from a physical standpoint. She begins to look older and dress quite provocatively to get attention even if that's toxic attention that she's looking for. The interactions we see between the diplomat and Picard are telling as well. You see, I discovered long ago, I had the ability to channel my darker thoughts, my unwanted emotions to others, leaving me unencumbered. Is this what you've been doing to Counselor Troy? I hadn't planned it. I'd expected Maylor to live through the negotiation. Her death could not have been more untimely. So then you deliberately used Deanna. When Picard calls him out, the man doesn't realize what he is doing is wrong, doesn't try to make amends. Surely you can see there's a broader canvas here. You cannot explain away a wantonly immoral act because you think that it is connected to some higher purpose. Captain, I get no payment. I have no power base, no agenda. I'm willing to risk my life simply to help others. In fact, he justifies what he does. He talks about how great he is because of Deanna and what she allows him to do, who she allows him to be. He even says what he's doing to her is for the greater good. In the end, Deanna has to be taken away and cut off from him in order for her to heal and make herself better. I know some of this is a bit of a stretch. It's definitely not a perfect allegory. I'm not even convinced that it was done on purpose. That said, there is some pieces that go quite nicely into the puzzle. It's an interesting look. Part of this channel is talking about things I find interesting and how science fiction can change us. I thought this was an intriguing piece of that, but those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next. Lore Reloaded. Deanna Troy is just one individual. That does not justify brutalizing her, or any of the others you have used.